Sags is usually more of an issue with uh, with liquid paints. With that said, th there are times we do see uh, sags in, in powder coatings as well. Uh, you know, usually what happens, uh, it, it, it tends to be a film build issue where we get way too much powder on the part. And, and as everyone knows, as you cure a powder, there is a part in, there is a, a time in there where the powder actually becomes a liquid and, and flows before it starts cross-linking back up and, and stops that flow. So if you just have a way too much powder in the area, once that becomes a, in that liquid form, it, it will, gravity will just cause it to, to shift and you will get that sag. We also see it with formulations that are, are meant to, to have a lot of flow. A lot of times urethanes, we always talk about how smooth they can be and, and you see them more of an automotive type finish. Well, with that type finish, you, you also have a better chance of, of, uh, of having a sag around a, uh, a punched hole or, a, or a, a, a spot in the part where you might be a little heavy on film build and that excess flow will cause it to, to be a sag. And then probably the most other common reason for sags is just the, the, the product itself uh, gets caught in the oven in an in a odd temperature range there and it doesn't begin to cross-link quick enough. Therefore, it, it stays in that flow stage too long. So if you're having a sag issue and it's not film build related, your best bet is to talk to your supplier and understand what the flow of that product should be. Make sure you have the right heat, uh, the right amount of time and things of that nature. Uh, and, and maybe that will, uh, will go away.